Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here, and I just flew to New York to get some exclusive coverage on the brand new Galaxy S9. I'm going to get tons of video footage, do multiple videos in the near future, so be sure you click that subscribe button so you're notified. But in the meantime, we are going to do a hands-on first impressions video of the brand new device from Samsung. So let's go ahead and get some video footage and check out the new Galaxy S9. Let's get started. So here is the brand new Galaxy S9. To be completely honest, right away, I notice it is very similar to the Galaxy S8, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. The back is where you'll notice a bit of a difference. However, I still think the Galaxy S8 is one of the best designed phones out there still. Down at the bottom of the device, you have a speaker, which is in conjunction with the earpiece for stereo speakers, and they still included the headphone jack. I'm very pleased they decided to do that. On the left side, you have the Bixby button along with volume rockers. Up at the top, SIM slot with a micro SD card slot, expandable up to 400 gigs of extra storage in addition to the included 64 gigs. Power button on the right side. And then on the back, you have an updated look where the fingerprint scanner is below that camera. More in depth on the camera in just a second, along with some more sensors. Galaxy S9 has that 5.8 inch Quad HD Plus curved Super AMOLED display with curves on both sides, which I do really like. It makes it seem like there's more minimal bezels than there already are. Uh, a little bit of a reduction in the bezels in the chin as well. Along with that, on the back, the back is pretty reflective. Also going to collect some fingerprints. However, that allows for wireless charging. There is still the IP68 rating, so it is dust and water resistant, uh, so you don't have to worry if you accidentally drop it in some water. There's a 3000 milliamp hour battery along with four gigs of RAM in the S9. Next up, I wanna jump into settings, scroll down, go to about phone, and then go to software info. This is where it is going to ship with Android 8.0 Oreo, which the Galaxy S8 and even the Note 8 are still not on yet. Uh, just showing off that there is a bit of an Easter egg within Oreo. Next up is probably the biggest change to the S9, and that would be the camera. There's actually a dual pixel, uh, 12 megapixel camera in the back of the S9, and you'll notice that aperture is changing based on whatever specific setting that I'm using. There is just a little uh, switch in there, so some, some pretty cool engineering on Samsung's part. After playing around with it, I've noticed the camera app has tons of different modes, options. There's a lot of ways you can customize the photos you do take. Uh, going into that specific camera app, snapping some quick pics, it always opened up snappy, uh, shutter speeds very low as expected. Going over to some of these options, there's a pro mode, panorama, there's even just a quick selection to food mode, a super slow-mo, there's AR emojis, and then of course up at the top you've got hyperlapse mode. I will go more in depth in the camera app itself, so stay tuned for that video coming very, very soon. To give you an example of the super slow mode very quickly, uh, basically you hit record and then you tap this icon and then it will start to slow down whatever motion it is capturing. It seems to work very well. Uh, I can go ahead and play it back real quickly. And when it does, uh, you can actually add custom music and songs. They have a bunch that you can choose from. Uh, it actually works pretty well and you'll see, look at how slow my hands starts going in comparison to how fast it was actually moving. You can have it manually go into slow motion or automatically. And of course there is a selfie mode with that 8 megapixel front facing camera on the Galaxy S9. Uh, anyways, some other things. I want to jump into settings real quick. Some noteworthy things. The video size. You can shoot 4K video at 60 frames per second. On a mobile phone that's still crazy to me, but really awesome that Samsung has upped their camera to be able to do that, which the iPhone 10 and iPhone 8, 8 Plus were able to do. Going back, there is HDR options, auto on or off, and then you can actually have multi-take or single take in that slow-mo. Here's a look at, you can actually make an animated version of yourself. They're calling this AR emoji, and for some reason it made me look like an old man. More on that coming in the near future in my full camera review, so stay tuned for that. I didn't want to spend too much time when I'm doing a separate video on it. Lock screen and security, there's Intelligent Scan, which updated the face unlock. They incorporate iris scanning and facial recognition. 
Uh, I have a separate video plan for that one as well. Uh, and otherwise, uh, testing out that fingerprint scanner, uh, when you register the fingerprint, there's actually a new way to do it. You actually roll your finger on that scanner real quick, and it's so quick. Watch, 60%, and then all the way up to 100%. So I rolled it twice on that fingerprint scanner, so that's the fastest registering I have ever had on a phone. And it's just very quick and snappy. We can give it a few tests. One, two, and then one more here. Set it down, unlocks it right away. On the S9, you still have those edge functions that you can turn on and customize. So you swipe over, people edge, smart select, apps edge, just some quick shortcuts. Uh, and you can add other ones, news, stock tickers, all that good stuff. Uh, and then here is a look at the messaging app. It has a new icon that is blue. And here's a look at the app drawer as well, some of the apps that will probably become preloaded. Next up, let's look at Bixby with the dedicated button. So Samsung's sticking with the Bixby, uh, loading it up for the first time. It says a new way to interact. Uh, again, this was on the Galaxy S8, starting on the Galaxy S8. I can quickly go through and show you what the menu of it looks like, two ways to call it. You can activate it by voice or the button itself. Keep it and skip. It, it uh, integrates with specific apps, gives you tips on specific commands that you can give it. And then here is just that main homepage with steps, weather, tips on how to use the phone, places around you, videos, heart rate, and all that good stuff. So that's pretty much it for Bixby that I wanted to show off for now. Here is a new processor, new Samsung Exynos processor, or the Snapdragon 845 processor included in the Galaxy S9. Just wanted to run through some apps, load up a web browser, have that load up, go to the messaging app, swipe up. Let's go into Chrome, let that load up a web page as well. Just get a lot of things going at once. Really test that four gigs of RAM. Maybe snap a picture real quick. Let's go into the calculator, make a quick calculation, equals. And then let's go back to the Play Store. Loads up right away, didn't run, uh, didn't close out whatsoever in the background. So everything seemed pretty quick, pretty snappy to multitask. Overall, the Galaxy S9 is definitely an improvement over the Galaxy S8. Uh, they've added some features, changed some things that made it a better device, including the movement of that fingerprint scanner below the camera, a little more ergonomic, making it a little easier to reach. They still include that headphone jack, which is fantastic because other manufacturers, hint, hint, Google, Apple are not doing that anymore and it's a little frustrating. The main upgrades being the camera and those stereo speakers. Those are two big ones as well that the Galaxy S8 do not have with that dual aperture mode and just overall improvements that are gonna make your lower light photography. You have 4K video recording at 60 frames per second. So a lot you can expect out of the Galaxy S9 camera. But anyways, that's just about everything I wanted to cover for now. Lots more in depth on the Galaxy S9 coming very soon, so make sure you click that subscribe button. I do have a comparison of the S9 and S9 Plus coming, so you can kind of see the differences between those two. Even a updated face unlock video comparing it to the iPhone 10, camera in depth, just tons of coverage. I got lots of great video footage, so stay tuned for that. I really appreciate you watching this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching.